This intercession is taken outside the Martyrs Memorial Church, very much associated with the late Reverend Dr. Ian Paisley. And the scriptures to be used are Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Then very much what would sum up uh, the Re late Reverend Doctor Ian Paisley. Romans chapter 4 and the 20th verse. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Heavenly Father, thy late servant, the Reverend Dr. Ian Paisley, was one who stood for you. He knew what it was to present his body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. He did not compromise his faith in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, even suffered imprisonment for his faith. He would not give way to the works of the devil. And he was mightily used by thyself, both for the bringing of souls to the Lord Jesus Christ, and to in the public affairs of Northern Ireland, mightily used as a voice both in the church and in, the, in politics as well. And he was a man strong in God, because it was the Lord Jesus Christ, by his spirit, who lived and worked through Ian Paisley. And since Ian Paisley has been taken, there has not been that voice, there has not been that authority and that power in God. And it is because of this that the very devil himself has been looking to have a field day in Northern Ireland, in both church and in state. And it is the void which has been left because of Ian Paisley no longer here. And I call upon thee, the almighty sovereign God, that you will arouse the sleeping church in Northern Ireland to see that it is the very devil himself who's been given an open door as we as he been invited in because there has not been that authority voice there has not been that that person of power to stand against the works of the devil. And although I am not Irish, I stand now in the gap, the gap before thee, almighty God, as thine intercessor on a world scale, and say unto thee, thine honor is at stake, whilst there is that void here in Northern Ireland. And for you to raise up a man or a woman who has the baptism of the Holy Ghost, who's filled with the Holy Ghost and with fire, to stand uncompromising against both the Pope and his proposed visit that this man 
this agent of the devil himself, the agent of the Antichrist, who William Paisley would no doubt have laid his life down to prevent coming here in Northern Ireland, shall not be allowed to come. I stand through all the power, through the authority, that same authority as in the Lord Jesus Christ, and say unto the Pope and you Jesuits, you Antichrist, you shall not prevail. The Lord Jesus Christ is sovereign Lord. He is the Son of God, the Son of God in whom Ian Paisley had his whole trust and was prepared to lay his life down. And I too am prepared to lay my life down so that the gospel shall reach every creature throughout every nation, throughout every religion, throughout everything which stands against the gospel going to every creature. And that from this moment on you have, you will have your hand upon a man or a woman who will take the place of Ian Paisley and not comp compromise with neither state nor church, with neither Antichrist or hell, but say, Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone is Sovereign Lord, and that there shall be truly there will no longer vacuum, but in church and in state there shall be authority, there shall be power, and it will be power in the right hands, the hands of those who have been chosen, like he and Paisley was, chosen of God for this time. He was chosen for his own time. You, God, choose someone now for this time who will be seen as the man or woman who has all the authority of God behind them. And at every work, I command every work now of the devil against church and state in Northern Ireland to be confined to hell fire itself. I cast him out and bring in the Lord of glory, the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank thee, O Father, that you have heard it is done for thy glory, because it is through thy Son that you and you alone are glorified. Through the power of his blood, the power of his resurrection, the power of his ascension and the power of his glorification that with God and through the name of Jesus nothing is impossible and all will be brought now right back into line with thine own perfect plan for thine own glory. Amen.